This tapestry is one of the first series of Solvay tapestries commissioned by King Charles II and his brother, the future James II, who was the Lord High Admiral. For him, this was the armada of his career. There was no clear victor. So perhaps the tapestries are a way of Charles and James claiming victory, woven in fine threads and displayed on a, a massive wall. The Battle of Solbay took place in 1672. It was part of the Third Anglo-Dutch War. In the foreground on the left, we can see the decisive loss of the battle, which is the burning of the Royal James. The designs for the tapestries were made by Willem van der Velde the Elder. The van der Velders were a father and son marine artist duo working in the 17th century. The father was a draftsman. He sailed with the Dutch Navy. He would go out with the fleet and sketch out naval action as it happened. He was a kind of early photojournalist in a sense. This tapestry is one of the first works that van der Velde made when he moved to England in 1672, 1673. It's so exciting to finally see these. At the Battle of Sol Bay, rather than being on the English side, he was behind the Dutch line. In working up his drawings for the tapestry, he had to do one significant thing, which was to reorientate his understanding of the battle in order to see it from an English perspective. It's particularly significant to us at Greenwich because he laid out the cartoons for the tapestries designed here in the Queen's house where he was given studio space and where he worked for some 20 years. So the Van der Velders were instrumental to the birth of English marine painting. So 2023 will be celebrating the anniversary of the Van der Velders' emigration to England we will be hanging our newly restored Solvay tapestry on the walls of the Queen's House in the very rooms where it was first conceived. It's going to be an amazing moment.